Adobe InDesign, how to change background color. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a few ways as to how you can change the background color on your canvas in Adobe InDesign. So let us jump straight in. The first thing we want to do is go over to the left hand side and you will find that there is a rectangular tool over here. So we can right click it and you can pretty much use any shape that you want to but because your canvas is in a rectangular shape or a square shape we want to use that rectangular tool. So we're going to click on that and now what we want to do is hold alt in if you're on windows and we want to scroll out with the wheel of the mouse and we just want to see the entire canvas like this. So the first way we're going to do this is to actually change the background color. We're actually going to fill the actual background with the color so we're going to go ahead and you're going to start outside of your canvas you're going to click down and you're going to open up a shape over your canvas now while this is selected on the right hand side you'll see that there is a toolbar that's in there and under properties you can go down to appearance and once you're in appearance you can click on fill now currently it says that it is not filled so literally it is just an outline of the shape we're going to click on that and now you can fill your background with whatever color it is that you would like so of course we have registration which is black paper white paper black and then just over here you have all of the other colors that are preset colors so Whichever one you are choosing, you can go ahead and click on that and you can see now that it has changed the background. Up on the top over here, there are a few other options. There are swatches, which we'll get into a little bit later. We have solid color and then we have gradient. So if we're clicking on gradient, you can now change the type of gradient. So it'll be linear or radial. And then you can also change if you're applying it to the frame or to the text. Now currently there is no text in here, so we're gonna leave it just like that. You can now also change all the properties of your actual gradient. So as you can see over here, whatever changes you're making, you can do so. You can also do so manually. So there are some manual buttons that you can play around with over here, and that changes the background altogether. The next way I'm going to show you is going over now to the top of your toolbar and I'm just going to hit Control Z and I'm going to erase all of the changes that I've made over here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go up to the toolbar and we're going to click on file and then we're going to go down and we're going to look for document setup. Now once you go into document setup there's a few different options that you can sort of outline over here. And basically what you're going to be doing here is going down and you're going to change the properties of how this is going to be printed. So if you still have that solid color, you want to go down and have a look at the bleed and slug. And once you open this over here, this is basically the border that you will find around your page when you're actually printing it. So you're having a look at your page and if you would like to print a solid color, and you would like some edging on your solid color or you want it completely solid you're going to have to define all the bleeding and the slug quantities just over here once you're done you're going to hit on ok and you can see now that it'll make all of the changes that you have preset over there so the third way we're going to have a look at how we can actually change the background and the properties of the background is in fact that swatches option that we saw earlier on so a nice way of doing this is making sure that you've got your select tool you have now selected your canvas and we're going to go up into the top toolbar and there is a window tab now once you go into window tab you're going to go ahead down and you're going to look for color now this over here will allow you to change again your color your gradient and your swatches so swatches basically is the ability to see a background on your InDesign program or on your canvas and then when it gets printed it doesn't actually get printed in that color so it's just a blank background when you actually print the document now the advantage of doing this is so that if you are printing on a color paper then you will know what your design will look like as an end result before you actually print it so it is basically a preview of your print paper 
and right now it is set as none so we're going to go down again and you can see that there are all of these color options again now once you actually click on that color option you will see that once we go out of this window it'll change this background but if you're double clicking on that color option you can see now that you can actually define that color a little bit more you can change the way the actual color looks and you can also change the color type so you can change it from process to spot and then also you can change the color mode over here so if you want to get into that you can go ahead you can also click on the preview so as you are making changes you will actually see what it looks like over here and we can now click OK and once you are out of this window this will actually be in the color that you are setting it as but when you print it it will not print in the color so this is a great way for you to preview your designs before you actually have it printed on a color paper there we go folks if you're looking to change the background in adobe indesign this is a perfect way to do it hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like don't forget to smash up that subscribe button and we'll see you in another video cheers for now folks